promise you. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about God too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Arthur, are you coming or what? We don't have all day. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Bread. 
of trash. What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
they've got us locked. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. Get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this stuff to the ground. into the crazy cribbage game. <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, buddy. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll she kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. 
Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity, and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Well, ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it would be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail, or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Hold on, let me catch you. Gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his game. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't 
change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. All right. We'll be just down this path to the left here. So, you were saying? Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Well, you ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Some of the cowards like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet baggers, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Huh? Hurry up! This feller's getting heavy. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there.
got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I've got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes.
get yourself something to eat. Yeah. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Hey there, Problem mister. here in the dirt. Ah. I'm gonna <sighs> mind my business. <sighs> bother you for a minute of your time all right can I tell you a little about what we're doing here sure less than a minute I promise uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall a shelter for homeless veterans and their families can you help a donation of $20 would put us well on our way monsieur Twenty dollars ain't no chicken fee, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Where you going, please? How's everything with you? Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all. Hello. Good to have you. Now, let me just look in here. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that, excluding yours truly, of course. Thank you. 
Sun is a local favorite. What color speaks to you? I feel almost human. You have exceptional taste. You look as long as you like. Pick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless <coughs> Excuse me. Washed away. I'll get you in a second. But let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have one. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before.
Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little bit of shit. Get going. You're coming after us. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard. shit went that way. Look out. Thanks for the help, friend. Why are you playing like that? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. Nah, I don't. Bounce around so much. Couldn't even read the newspaper. Come on! Keep up!
listening. Cuidado. I'm telling you, a cucumber's definitely a fruit. No, I'm dead. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> oh. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Welcome to Kao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before. Now, let me have a look. You see the church across the street? Father O'Leary carries a gun, a Dellinger. I sold it to him, just in case turning the other cheek doesn't work. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. That'll give you a real edge.
I can do some nice ornate engraving on there, if you like, good price. find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Thanks, partner. Hello. 